But first of all, thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Richard Atias. Thank you for your invitation. Uh, a few words on uh, Mr. Atias. Atias is the uh, founder of the New York Forum, and uh, you were the co-producer for the World Economic Forum in Davos for more than 15 years. Correct. Welcome. Following the success of the first New York Forum in Gabon last year, uh, we're having the second one, second edition. Correct. Um, right. So maybe let's start by um, talking about what are you going to achieve this year in this forum in June? Last year, we started the first edition of the New York Forum Africa because we have the conviction that Africa is not just a continent full of opportunities, it's definitely the new frontier, which means that when you have 1 billion people, 54 different countries, probably the largest reservoir of natural resources in the world. It's definitely a part of the world that you cannot ignore. So the first edition of the New York Forum Africa was listing all these opportunities. The second edition, we try to transform these opportunities in realities by bringing together investors from all over the world and African leaders, business leaders and political leaders to try to really build partnership and also to uh, agree on some investment opportunities. Give us a little bit, you know, preview of this upcoming conference. We have built the, the forum, the New York Forum Africa, with, uh, I would say, a bone, a red line, mm -hmm. called the six eyes. Why six eyes? Because I think that today, if you want to be successful in Africa, mm. you need first to deal with independence. The first I is independence. Okay. Number two is investment. Mm. It's an amazing land of opportunity for investment, foreign direct investment. Mm. It's growing, growing all year long. The number three eyes is innovation. Number four is incubation. Africa will grow thanks to SMEs, small and medium enterprise companies. Mm. So this is why we need to support incubation. Mm. The fifth I will be infrastructure. Last but not least, very important. You cannot build the future of people, the future of a continent, if you don't have any inspiration. The role models are important. So what is achieved in the United States, what is achieved in China, what was achieved in Europe, what is achieved in Latin America, mm. should also inspire mm. the African population. So this is what will be the program of the New York from Africa. Under these six eyes, we will talk about all these topics mm. and we will try to leave the room with a roadmap with mm. concrete ideas, mm. which will be also presented a few days after to the G8 in Ireland. Right. And so for this year's forum, I know you will have a big group of Chinese again. And what is your expectation for them? What can they bring to the table? I hope that they can bring not just investment opportunities, mm. but they can challenge the way we can do business in Africa. These Chinese participants mm. will also share the experience with the African participant. Mm. Maybe we can also import your knowledge mm. in Africa. Right. So talking about China, I cannot help asking your connection to China. You've been to China many times. You've, you, you basically brought the uh, World Economic Forum. Yes, I started the uh, summer Davos mm. in Dalian mm. and then in Tianjin a few mm. years ago. I was very involved on the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games in 2008. Right. I hope that the New York from Africa, thanks to the participation of the Chinese delegation, will also bring some new ideas mm. because at the end of the day, what we are trying to be is a laboratory of ideas. Mm. And this is what the world needs today. And you want to gather all these leaders who can deliver. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's now, as I said, mm. time for people to deliver. Mm. We have ideas, people have the amazing human resources and talent, mm. the world is full of energy, we, do, we now need leadership. We need people who will make decisions and implement. What do you see the um, dynamics between Africa and China? It's a, first of all, this year, 2013, is celebrating the 50 years of partnership between China and Africa. Mm -hmm. Point number two, I see partnerships in several areas. I see partnerships in, of course, infrastructures, in mining, in energy, 
but also in vocational training, mm -hmm. in aviation, in healthcare. Well, you mentioned there are opportunities there for not only for China in Africa, but you know, the US and other. How, how can they work together on projects? This is a very challenging mm -hmm. question. But we live in the global world. And I think today one of the big challenges of the Chinese companies and the Chinese leaders is to be open and to know how to navigate in the world in projects where you have different players. Uh, we definitely today have to work in a multicultural world. What is this new idea of uh, the, the, the new world we're living? I think that the private and the public sectors have to work together, mm. not to try to make more money and more money and more money and more profit. Yeah. It's to create opportunities for the youth. Mm. Because if the youth do not have job, mm. we will see more and more Arab revolutions. We'll see more and more people going in the street. Mm. And our duty as entrepreneurs, as leaders, is to definitely focus on how can we reinvent mm. a new world, mm. reinvent all business models mm. in all disciplines, in all areas, to create opportunity for the youth. We cannot have a society where our kids are excluded. Mm. We need to build a system, an economic system which is inclusive, not exclusive. So that's a, you know, basic the mission you're trying to achieve. Yes, really, one of the mission is to facilitate concrete opportunities mm. and to stop people talking, talking, talking for years and not implementing. Mm. We always say that the winners are the doers. Now in your uh, New York Forum, uh, th the Chinese uh, participants are growing. So from back then, when there were um, Chinese, some Chinese participants. Very few. <laughs> yes, to now. Can you share with us your observation of, you know, these? First of all, I'm very impressed by the number, growing number of Chinese leaders, Chinese participants who speak perfect English. Number two, I'm very impressed on more and more Chinese who are very highly educated. Mm. Skills are growing very fast. It is not anymore the time where we were saying, oh, China do not respect IP, they are stealing everything. Number three, I see also more and more Chinese participants who wants to talk about new environment, mm. green technology, because they are more and more concerned by the issues of the society. Mm. It's not just about doing business. It's also trying to build a better world.